So I decided to challenge myself a little bit this lockdown so I had 10 meters of this fabric and decided you know what I'm gonna sew a full monochromatic outfit just from this one fabric and so I did that. So what I did was I made a pair of really high waisted paneled pants with a disconnected leg because I saw Lisa from Black Pink Bank one and I was like oh, I really want to make one for myself as well and yeah this is how it turned out. It turned out pretty well, not too bad for a first time and yeah, get creative. And so the goal of today's project is to create a very cool pair of pants. Now these pants are contained, which is a disconnected leg, some straps, an all gray color, and also some paneling. Now that's the goal of today's project. Let's begin. And so to begin these pants, I started with a simplicity pattern. Now this is a pattern that I use for a bunch of pants that I've done before, and it's pretty much perfect to me. So I started using that for these pants. So first I cut off about four four panels of this fabric and then I noticed I didn't have any thread so I had to very sneakily go up the staircase to my parents room it's about like 3 a.m. in the morning so I have to be very quiet and get the white thread so that I can paint my pants paint my pants I mean sew my pants so this is a sketch of what I want to make and then I started cutting so first I start off cutting the diagonal pieces and then folded it in now this is to create the panels of the pants and create this very cool textual pattern on it. It's actually pretty hard to pin it in place so I had to be very careful about pinning and not ruching. And then next was to start threading my bobbin. So for this pair I started to use the white thread because white on grey turns out to be actually a pretty good pair. And I started sewing. So I just had to sew a bunch of straight stitches to secure the panels to the back piece and create this pattern as you can see over here. It's nice and easy, just a bunch of straight seams all throughout. Then I also started um, pinning the bottom pieces and then I also started sewing that. It's shockingly loud the sewing machine at night so I was trying my best to not be so so loud, just try to be medium level loud. Then I finished the first pad leg and now I have to create the back piece of the second one. And I also started creating the slats to match on the second leg. And then once that was done, I started sewing again. And now I am finished. Well, that's just one leg. Um, I tried to line them up as best as I could, but it wasn't perfect, but it was close enough, not too bad. And then this is me sewing one of the pockets for the pair of pants. I just used the pocket pattern from the simplicity pattern and it was pretty simple. Um, I did want to make this uh, pocket an external pocket so that's why I sewed it like this. I'm actually not the best at sewing pockets, they're actually pretty hard to sew so I had to um, figure this out. It wasn't that simple. So what I did was I secured the pocket behind the pant panel and then I sewed that pocket to the panel of the pants and then that part was done. Now I just referred back to Pinterest to look at patterns so I wanted to start on the disconnected leg part so I decided to do the disconnected leg on the right leg, wait one of the legs. But yeah, so Pinterest gave me quite a few images, so I started on the disconnected leg. So to start the disconnected leg, it's pretty easy. You just have to make the pant pattern and then cut it in half wherever you want the disconnect to be. It's not that hard. And then now I started um, creating some connectors for the disconnected leg, because obviously the bottom pant has to connect to the top pant somehow. So what I did was I made a bunch of these tiny little like anchors from the fabric and then I sewed it together it's just a straight tube of fabric and then I attached that to the leg as you can see over here it connects the top to the bottom to make sure that they actually connect then I just ran that through the machine just a simple straight stitch um, on the shorter setting so that it's a lot stronger and this was just a basting stitch I think that's what's called on the surface then I also decided to do the paneling on these on this side of the pair of pants. So what I did was I just cut it to what I wanted and then fold it in and then attach the front piece to the back piece of the leg. Um, also I should probably clarify that all the pant legs are made from two pieces of fabric. There's a front piece and a back piece. The panels are made on the front piece and then the 
back piece is the one solid piece that the front pieces are sold onto. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can see it here. And now to sew the other pocket. So the disconnected leg also has a pocket. Now sewing pockets on the disconnected leg was actually pretty complicated because of the because the pocket actually lined up with where the disconnected part was, so I had to be really careful and I actually made it a bit smaller than it had to be. But because this is a stretchy fabric, it will stretch and fit my phone, which is not too bad. Very nice. Now to secure the pocket, I just secured it to the back of the pant leg and then just sewed it in place. Then I started on the waistband. And also because this is a cotton jersey fabric, it's actually um, pretty stretchy and not solid enough. So in order to solve that what i did was i used a piece of scrap fabric that was pretty stiff like it didn't have stretch and used that as the to replace the interfacing on the cotton jersey waistband now next was to create the tassels like the straps so what i did was i just used the same fabric create long tubes of fabric and then i just created one long straight st stitch throughout and then flipped it inside out so it was clean on the outside now was time to start connecting the pant leg so what i did was i secured the front piece and the back piece of one leg together just ran it through the machine just one simple straight stitch again i probably should have used a zigzag stitch but i just did a straight stitch as you can see here this is all the pieces assembled together just straight stitches all throughout very simple and then now that it is done, I had to start working on the waistband. So what I did was I take a pair of pants that fit me perfectly, and then I marked out where I needed to make darts, and then I made the darts. So for the darts, it's actually a bunch of box pleats that I did. And the reason why I did box pleats was so that when I um, kneel or squat, the seams will open up and give me more thigh space, because I do have actually pretty thick thighs. Not flexing, just a fact. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, um, running the box piece through the machine is actually pretty hard because they fold in on themselves. So I had to lift up the press of foot and then re-clamp it back down. So now I'm trying on the pants. They're still a bit loose. And that's because I don't have the waistband. So I started working on the waistband. As you can see here, this is a relatively narrow waistband. Um, later in the video, I scrapped that and I did a high waistband instead but for now i'll just show you the process of making a low waistband because it's the same for the high waistband just narrower now for the straps what i did was um i pinned the wrong sides of the hem together and then sandwiched the straps underneath so that i just had to do one straight stitch all throughout and now you can see that it fits thankfully the disconnected leg works well i just pinned it in place and now i'm going to sew it in place um, also, I noticed that the pocket isn't that nice, so I had to redo that. This is the bottom hem. It's actually pretty clean. Um, so I just sewed the disconnected leg together, and now I'm just going to get rid of these little straps that I made earlier because they're actually pretty useless. But yeah, these are the pants. It is 60% done. There's actually still a lot of final work to be done, especially on the waistband. And there's no zipper because I actually couldn't put zip on this cotton jersey fabric because it was um it's too stretchy like it just wouldn't hold a zipper so I just made it like overlap on each other it's an Oreo break by this point I had been working on the project for two days straight so I was so tired this is the morning like 8 a.m and I had to sleep at 8 a.m this is really bad then I woke up at night and then I just kept working on the project. So first I ironed the, I pressed the fabric down so it was nice and smooth. And then what I did was I ran it through the machine so that the bottom hem was finished. And then what I did next was I sewed the disconnected leg together. I just sewed the bottom part to the top part which is a straight stitch on the corners of the pant leg. Now you see me here um, cutting off the excess fabric on the hem because actually the pants are really heavy because there's just so much fabric. So I cut off the excess fabric that didn't need to be there. 
And now you can see me cutting off the little straps that connect the two parts of the disconnected leg together because I didn't need it. Um, I also then started work on the high waistband. I just measured my waist. I didn't have any measuring tape, so I just used an actual um, hard measuring tape that you used to measure rooms with because it was the same thing anyway. And yeah, so I started working on the high waistband. I wanted it to sit like to cover my belly button area because I do want to have like a cinching effect because it will hide my belly. <laughs> High waisted pants can be for guys too. This was me testing out the buttons. I was like, should I put it on the middle or to the side? Ended up deciding it to be just a little bit off center. Now this is me trying on the pant leg. I mean the pants. I actually do like how high-waisted it is, so that's what I decided to do, because high-waisted is pretty cool. And it matched the Pinterest board fashion, so that's what I did. Now, I didn't know how to attach buttons. This was my first time, so I had to look at the manual on how to attach a zipper foot to the machine. However, my button was just way too thick, so I had to hand-stitch it in the end, sadly. I had to hand-stitch it, but it was not too bad. Next was I used the machine to create the buttonhole. It's really cool that the sewing machine has a buttonhole feature. I always wondered how to do it. As you can see here that it does fit through. However, later on I changed the waistband so this whole thing disappears. And then um, at one point I decided to also upgrade the t-shirt that I made from a previous video. So I decided to add these like little front panels. And my room was also really messy, so I had to clean my room. Ta-da! Because a clean room is a better workspace. Yeah, so I referred back to Pinterest for some inspiration. I decided to add some really big, um... What are they called? Straps? Yeah, it's, and then I sewed these, stra these straps together. It's just a rectangle fabric that you tube up. And then I attached it to the t-shirt. I wanted to create these V embellishments, so what I did was I opened up the middle seam of the shirt and then tucked the V straps inside and then I sewed it shut. Very simple, you can see here the shirt is done. It's so simple, but it just adds so much and creates a little V on your body. And then I added these straps at the back based off the Pinterest board. And ta-da! It is basically done however this is not the final waistband i did take it out but this was just me trying on the fit i do like the cut it's sitting in a nice pace oh i'm so happy with myself but yeah now i just put it away and i went off to sleep for the day and then the next morning when i woke up i started work on the pants again so what i did was i seam ripped out the current waistband and replaced it with a thicker, taller waistband width. You can see here, I finished paint uh, making it. I didn't sh record the whole process because it's the same thing as earlier, but just higher. And then I attached that to the pants. And then I also had to work on architecture and I catched up with my friend Lee. Just a little break because I can't work on things for so long. And then came the next night. First what I did was I pressed all the fabric down so it's nice and smooth. All these straps, the pant leg is looking very sexy I might say. I'm so happy with it. It's really heavy so I had to use a really strong hanger to hang it up. So that I could do my photo shoot the next day. This is me just pressing everything making sure it's smooth. And now time for the final reveal. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next week. Subscribe, like, comment.